Hey guys, this is Are You Ready for today's July 7, 2024, 126 p.m. Central Time. Before I begin, anyone who decides to post below or thinks they're going to post below, that it's always been the case that $600 or more, you've needed to report to the IRS on your tax return. That's always been the law. Shut up. Nobody wants to hear from you. The $600 threshold that's always been in law has never actually been enforced by any on online marketplace, anywhere, blah, blah, blah. It's been like a voluntary, like, please tell us that you made over $600 or more so we can tax your ass. That's always been the case. What changed, what changed with that threshold is the Democrats decided to pass a law under Biden in 2021 that changed it, changed the official federal tax bracket or threshold, I should say, that did exist where marketplaces and other places would give you a 1099k uh, was $20,000. In 2021, the Democrats lowered that threshold to $600. So if you are on a marketplace, say eBay, Etsy, all those places, and you end up earning over $600, they are supposed to send you a 1099k, right? So this is what the deal is. Warning. IRS may backtrack on the threshold for 2024 tax returns. Be prepared, people. Be prepared. In 2022, the IRS delayed the delayed changing the $20,000 threshold. Okay? So a lot of people did not get the 1099Ks unless you made over 20,000. In 2023, they did it again. They delayed the tw the six hundred dollar threshold, and unless you made twenty thousand twenty thousand or more, you did not get a ten ninety nine k. Now, for 2024, the IRS has already come out and said they're changing the threshold from six hundred dollars to six thousand dollars. So, if you are making six thousand dollars or more on an online marketplace or otherwise, blah blah blah. You will be getting a 1099K. That is the IRS threshold for 2024 tax return. What I am saying in this video is the IRS may backtrack on that threshold and have to be forced to change that 6,000 threshold to $600. And the reason for that was the SCOTUS ruling that happened that ruled in the administrative state recently. This is when they changed the Chevron doctrine. Here's the deal. I'm just going to show you this real quick. Supreme Court strikes down Chevron curta curtailing power of federal agencies. Came out June 28th. This is a SCOTUS blog, blah, blah, blah. This is what happened. By a vote of six to three, the justices overruled their landmark 1984 decision, Chevron versus Natural Resources Defense Council, which gave rise to the doctrine known as the Chevron Doctrine. Under that doctrine, if Congress has not directly addressed the question at the center of a dispute, a court was required to uphold the agency's interpretation of the statute as long as it was reasonable. I'll give you an example. The ATF, who loves to do rule changes. This all has to do with rule changes because that's how the IRS is actually delaying and changing all this stuff is rule changes, okay? That's what this, that's what this court case ruled, or sorry, um, that's what this court case reigned in was the ability for federal agencies to create rule changes that Congress has not specifically addressed in a law or it was ambiguous to create their own interpretation. For example, the ATF and the brace or the ATF changing the definition of a machine gun. Those types of things are now being are reined in and they are unable to do. Basically, what came out of this was the justices said... If it's ambiguous, okay, and the and the agency decides to, you know, fill in the blank that Congress did not address, it goes to the court, and the court does not automatically uh, drop to 
what the agency's interpretation is because that was a Chevron doctrine, which has been turned overturned. So likely than not, most courts, when something is brought to them about a federal agency ruling something that's quite unreasonable and it's brought before a court, they don't just defer to what the agency interpreted because Congress made it ambiguous or did not address it. Now they are going to, the courts are going to have to actually do their job and say either one, the agency overstepped their bounds and no, this is not how this is, this was meant to be interpreted by Congress, which is what they should be saying for a very long time. Or they can, if they decide the agency was right, you know, turn with the, or rule with the agency. But in the past, the court always deferred to the agency's interpretation, which is, which has screwed everyone in the past, bringing anything forward, like, let's say, climate change rules that these people are, are creating regarding, like, you know, light bulbs, washing machines, uh, even EVs that are coming out of these agencies, all these rule changes now are going to be easily brought to courts and courts making the decision that could go against the agency, period. And they could say, this was not, this is not law. You can't create law. And Congress has to, de- has to uh, address this. You, the agency, cannot address it or cr- come up with it out of thin air just because of a policy decision made by a specific White House. That is what this did. So I'll also give you, um, it had to do, this case, I'll give you this and then I'll kind of end this situation. Um, the case that this originally was had to deal with the National Marine Fishery Service. Um, the EPA created this ridiculous situation for that, that group of people. The agency had required the herring, herring industry to pay for the costs estimated at 710 per day associated with carrying observers on board their vessels to collect data about their catches and monitoring for fish overfishing. That's what this case was about. That and it that was absolutely what the <laughs> what the EPA did to that group of of fishermen was absolutely ridiculous. They pulled that shit out of their ass. That was not they created their own uh, department to deal with that. They Nothing from Congress was passed for that, so there was no allocated funds for that department the EPA created to sit on these fishermen's boats and basically track everything they do. Like, the EPA 100% overstepped their bounds. So, by overturning the Chevron Doctrine, that went away for the fishermen, so they won. But there was a much bigger consequence by overturning the Chevron Doctrine now. So the IRS may not have a choice on whether or not they keep the $6,000 threshold. They may have to backtrack to six hundred dollars because that's what was passed by Congress. IRS does not and did not have the right to delay that law in 2022, 2023, or change the threshold in 24 to 6,000. They used the backing, the IRS used the backing that the law was passed prematurely for these, com- for these companies, including PayPal, uh, Venmo, market- online marketplaces, all these people. They used the excuse that they, those companies did not have the right uh, forms and and paper trail and all kinds of stuff. They didn't have anything in place to even enforce what Congress had had passed that year. So the IRS was giving time for those companies to create procedures and the paper paper trails and all that shit they have to do in order to issue these tax forms to all of us who are making over $600 online through PayPal or anywhere else. It doesn't matter. It didn't matter where all these people are going to be uh, reporting you, okay? That's been the case since this, you know, started. Uh, because the because like I said, there was a twenty thousand dollar threshold period, like before this even passed. So people have been getting these forms in the past. They just changed the threshold to six hundred dollars. So the IRS had no right to change it in twenty two, twenty three, or change it to six thousand dollars threshold in twenty four. 
like I just said. So they may not have a choice this year to notify people for the 2024 tax return that they have to drop it to $600. So be prepared to pay taxes if you if you sell online or you get paid through PayPal or Venmo or any other wonderful third party person that they that you may be getting a form this year if you go over $600. The IRS made the delayed decisions for 2022 and 2023 in December of that year. So in, in 2021, in December, I think it was the day after Christmas, they delayed this, this $600 law uh, for 2022 taxes. When people had already gotten forms, uh, further 1099K situation getting sent to them in January and February because those companies, certain companies were already prepared for that. So that's how late in the game the IRS changed the rules. And they changed the rules in 23 similarly. So I can see the IRS waiting because they're retards to let people know in December that, hey, we can't do the $6,000 threshold because of what SCOTUS ruled. So we're going to have to defer back to what Congress actually passed and have to go to the $600 threshold rule. I could totally see them waiting to to do that. So keep your eye on the IRS notifications, blogs, whatever. Pay attention to eBay emails, uh, Etsy emails, any other marketplace emails that might be saying the IRS is changing their mind because it's not really changing their mind. They're being forced to change it to six hundred dollars. If that's the case, if they decide to actually follow this SCOTUS ruling, they will have to do this. But I'm putting IRS may backtrack on the threshold in this video because who knows? They may ignore that and be like, no, we're going to keep it at the $6,000 threshold. And they and who's going to who's going to bring that to court? The person who brings it to court and says, no, the IRS doesn't have the right to change it to $6,000. It should be $600 instead. Whoever brings that jackass to court and says that, that person should go away very quickly because that screws everybody in the country. So they may keep the $6,000 because they can get away with it because no one's going to actually uh, go after them for it. What will change is if this administration goes, no. You're changing it to 600 because SCOTUS said this, and we're, we want all this tax money from all you people because we love taxes in the government. So I, the, that's the only way I can see the IRS really changing it, per se. But they may get away with the $6,000 threshold. I don't know. Be prepared. Be prepared. This is Are You Ready For It? Take care, guys. Have a great day.